The tragic shooting incident on the set of the film Rust has taken yet another turn as three crew members file a lawsuit against Alec Baldwin and the film's producers. This latest lawsuit adds to the growing list of legal troubles facing the movie's production team in the wake of Heine Hutchins' death. The lawsuit filed by Ross Adiego, Durand Curtin, and Reese Price alleges that they suffered from anxiety, post-traumatic stress disorder, and blast injuries as a result of the incident. They claim to have been near Baldwin when the gun was fired, and to have experienced the deafening sound of the shot, which left them with injuries and psychological trauma. The suit also points fingers at the producers, accusing them of cutting corners by hiring inexperienced individuals, including Hannah Gutierrez Reed, the armorer who loaded the gun with the live round that killed Hutchins. The lawsuit alleges that the producers wanted a quick and cheap production, and that this led to the hiring of unqualified and unsafe crew members. Baldwin, who has denied pulling the trigger, is facing a charge of involuntary manslaughter. Gutierrez Reed, the armorer, is also facing the same charge. Both have pleaded not guilty. The lawsuit faults Baldwin for failing to ensure that the gun was not loaded with a live bullet and for discharging the round. Other crew members have also filed lawsuits, including the script supervisor, set medic, and gaffer. Baldwin's lawyers have filed a counterclaim, alleging that four other people were at fault in the shooting. The tragedy has not only resulted in legal battles but also raised questions about the safety of film sets and the use of firearms in movies. The incident has sparked a debate about the need for stricter regulations and safety protocols in the movie industry. Despite the tragic incident, the producers of Rust are planning to resume shooting this spring, with Baldwin still in the lead role. This decision has been met with criticism from many, who believe that the film should be scrapped entirely out of respect for Hutchins' memory. The incident has also highlighted the importance of workplace safety and the need for employers to prioritize the safety of their employees. Rust Movie Productions has agreed to pay $100,000 to settle a workplace safety citation from the New Mexico Occupational Health and Safety Bureau, but this is unlikely to put an end to the legal battles. As the legal battles continue, it is important to remember the tragic loss of Heine Hutchins and the devastating impact the incident has had on the crew members who were present. The incident serves as a stark reminder of the importance of safety on film sets and the need for greater accountability and responsibility from those involved in the production of movies. In the wake of the Rust shooting incident, the film industry has been forced to confront some uncomfortable truths about the safety of movie sets. While most productions are conducted with safety in mind, accidents can and do happen, and it is up to the employers and producers to ensure that all possible precautions are taken to prevent such incidents from occurring. There have been calls for greater regulation of the use of firearms on movie sets, with some industry experts suggesting that the use of real guns should be banned altogether. Others have called for stricter safety protocols and increased training for those involved in handling firearms. The incident has also highlighted the need for greater support for those who have experienced trauma on movie sets. The crew members who have filed lawsuits against Alec Baldwin and the producers of Rust are not only seeking compensation for their injuries but also for the psychological trauma they have experienced as a result of the incident. It is essential that those who have been affected by such incidents are provided with the support they need to heal and recover. The incident has also had a profound impact on the family and friends of Heine Hutchins, who tragically lost her life in the incident. Her widower, Matthew, filed a lawsuit last year and has been vocal in his criticism of the producers of Rust. While he has agreed to a settlement that will allow the film to be completed, he has called for greater accountability in the industry and has urged producers to prioritize the safety of their employees. As the legal battles continue, it remains to be seen what the long-term impact of the Rust shooting will be on the film industry. However, it is clear that the incident has sparked a much-needed conversation about workplace safety, and it is hoped that this will lead to greater accountability and improved safety protocols on movie sets. In the meantime, our thoughts are with the family and friends of Heine Hutchins, as well as with the crew members who have been affected by this tragedy. We can only hope that the lessons learned from this incident will lead to a safer and more responsible film industry in the future.